Gerald Creasy. Yeah, I prefer Stone. So, like a nickname? That's, uh... That's what my people call me. Can we talk straight? You gonna help me out or what? Just talk, that's all. And then maybe we both get what we want, okay? It was very appealing to me to work with with De Niro again. Not that I didn't have a lot of fun with him the first time and that it wasn't that I, great, but if you had said to me 15 years ago, if you could make a film with De Niro, what kind of experience would you want it to be like? This, this was much more it. I was just wondering when we could get together. Look, I admire that you love your husband and you want to do what's right for him. I do love my husband. And all I'm asking you is for a chance to help you see him in a different light. Can I persuade you? You know, definitely I, I think any actor would be intimidated to work with with really such a, an icon and um, as Robert De Niro. So, of course, I had my butterflies. He's such a, a sweet guy, and I think a lot of the intimidation comes from the sort of kind of fringe characters that he's always played so well. So Jack said... You call him Jack? Sure. Why do you get to walk around free and I don't? I wasn't convicted of a crime. You never did anything bad. Nobody can know about this. To me, what was so bracing and cool about it was that I felt like he was investigating he was investigating a very new, a new kind of a territory and character for him. He was playing a character who's, who's dealing with his advancing age and his mortality and, you know, alcoholism and, and emptiness. I thought it was a beautiful investigation of, of a character. <laughs> Didn't I do good?